Canadian families are struggling with the rising cost of energy, whether it's putting gas in their cars or paying for their home heating. All the while, these oil and gas companies are raking in record profits, something the Biden administration is referring to as war profiteering, and frankly, it is. What's this Liberal government's response? To put even more public money in the pockets of these highly profitable companies. When will the Prime Minister take a stand? and protect workers and make these wealthy companies pay what they owe on the windfall of profits and invest that into helping Canadians pay their energy bills. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, with putting a price on pollution right across the country that puts more money in the pockets of families uh, in jurisdictions where it applies, uh, we're actually sending clear price signals uh, to industry and to private sector that they have to invest more in decarbonization. This is something that we're uh, in, uh, focusing on ensuring that these record profits from the oil and gas industry go into investing in decarbonization, go into uh, CCUS technology uh, to decarbonize, invest in better opportunities and jobs for the future while we fight climate change across the country. For Burnaby South. In the last election, this Prime Minister made some really big promises on health care. He made big promises to improve long term care. He made big promises on mental health care. But he's, fall, he's completely missing in action when it comes to the premiers of this country requesting a meeting on dealing with the health care crisis. When will the Prime Minister? actually respond to the crisis that we're dealing with and deliver on the promises that he made. The honor, right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we heard clearly from Canadians from coast to coast to coast that they want access to family doctors. We heard clearly from families from coast to coast to coast that they need to see an end to the backlog, that they need better help for mental, uh, mental uh, access to mental health services. These are things that we're busy working with the provinces on, and we're going to be delivering, yes, with more funds, but also with clearer outcomes for Canadians. Canadians. Canadians deserve a health care system that actually delivers for them. We know, as the chief, uh, as the head of the CMA has said, that you can't just put money into a broken system. You need to fix the system. That's what we're doing. Burnaby South. 87% of Indigenous households in Canada live in urban, rural, and northern regions outside their traditional territories, 87%. Despite this, the Liberals are only committing $300 million to address the urgent and imminent needs for urban, rural, and Indigenous communities housing. This is so far nowhere near enough. Will the Prime Minister commit to increasing the funding, the interim funding, to a level that responds to the urgency and the desperate need that the community has. Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the housing challenges faced by Canadians right across the country are significant, but nowhere more significant uh, than in vulnerable urban Indigenous, uh, northern and remote uh, areas. That's why we've put forward record amounts of $300 million uh, direct investment to support and grow uh, housing supply uh, in uh, those areas. And we know there will be more to do, but we need to make sure we are delivering results for Canadians. And that that's exactly what we're, what we're focused on. Honourable Member for Kitchener Centre. 